Okay guys, so before this tutorial starts, I want you to check out RaymondDigital.com. It's basically a website where you can get like really awesome high quality intro templates that are really easy to edit. All the info is in the description down below. What's up guys, my name is Alex and welcome to this really like a, a lot requested tutorial. So basically in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a thumbnail and I'm not going to make a thumbnail that is looking like this. This is done in Photoshop like how I did it. So I'm just going to show you guys how to make a really you know simple thumbnail like you, yourself. You cut out, you put a different background on it and some text. I'm going to show you guys how to do that, it's really simple. If you want to know like how to make thumbnails or how to do this, make sure to check out my Photoshop you know series in, in the description, you can find the link there. And then you can go ahead and check out that. But for today, I'm going to show you guys how to make this like a nice, you know, basic thumbnail. So I would say let's jump straight into the video. Okay, guys. So as you guys can see, we are on Sony Vegas. And I'm going to show you guys how to cut yourself out. How to put a different background on it. And how to add some text. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a picture of myself in this. Like me, like drinking, you know, like from a, a new can of nitro. I'm going to import that picture first. So uh, let me pull up the picture real quick. Boom. There we have it. And as you guys can see, I want to have myself like just like this, but then with another background. So let's start off, with, you know, to do that. We'll come back to the to the text part a little later on. The first thing to cut yourself out in Sony Vegas, it works a little bit different than, you know, Photoshop. So what you want to do is you want to click on this icon, as always, the event plan crop one. As you can see, this little box pops up. And what you want to do is you want to click on mask, then those lines disappear, as you can see. And you want to pick the anchor creation tool and you want to start cutting yourself out. So that's what I'm going to do. So as you guys can see i'm starting at the bottom and i'm going to cut myself out as you can see right there so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to focus you know you guys will know i don't need i don't need to show you guys like all of this you guys know it just you know mask yourself out that's just go around all of everything so you guys will actually know how it works so i'm not going to show you i'm not going to bore you guys with like doing all around it so i'm just going to speed up the, you know this little clip i think it's just going to take a few seconds so i will i will come back to you guys in a bit a few moments later boom as you guys can see i went all around as you can see and what happens is there i am so as you guys can see this is just um like myself but as you guys can see like what like inside my arm there's a little bit green if you put yourself like just straight like me like how i am right now you don't need to go like between in my arms so just ignore that because you will you won't see that if you cut yourself like this so basically to put a different background on it let's just say we have just we have maxed this and you want to go to media generators and you want to pick let's say noise textures i think let's see this one is a good background so I'm going to put that underneath it. And as you guys can see, boom, I have a different background. So that is basically how you can mask yourself out and put it on a different background. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close this out and I want to have myself like somewhere else on the screen. So I'm going to click on, I'm going to click on this white icon of myself on that track. So boom, then this box pops up. So what you want to do is you want to, you can move yourself. So if I make this smaller, as you can see, myself is getting smaller as well. So I'm going to click on restore and I'm going to put myself a little bit to the right. But that looks really great as well well already so I'm going to make this shorter now what we're going to do now is I'm going to add text on it so I showed you guys how to cut yourself out like that I did that I showed you guys how to put a different background underneath it of course as you can see underneath you know myself and I'm going to add a little text so what I'm going to do is I'm going to media generator and I'm going to pick titles and text drag that on top of everything we can now you know type something so I'm going to say nitro and as you guys well I'm gonna put energy drink underneath it like this i can make it smaller by this or you can do it like right here in this box this works easier and as you guys can see i just put myself there and i'm going to add a little outline to it as you can see boom you want to click that you want to drag up this marker and as you guys can see i want to pick the color so let's pick i want to have red as a color so, and that, as you can see right there, we have a red outline. And you can also add shadow, that's, you know, it's completely at the bottom, like right here. And you can also check, you know, box, check this box. And as you guys can see, I have some, I have a nice custom thumbnail. Now I created myself a custom thumbnail. So I just, you know, masked myself out, as you can see right there. So I'm just, so the background is black. And then I just drag another, you know, background underneath it. And also put some text over it. You can do this with any picture you have. 
any background you like or any text you want. That is how simple it is. So that is basically how you can add, that's how you make a custom thumbnail, guys. It's really easy and there's nothing more to tell you guys. That is how simple it is, guys. That is how you make a really simple thumbnail. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for the continued support. I will see you guys actually tomorrow for two new videos of reacting to video from sub from subscribers that's the dash actually yeah but i will see you guys tomorrow for two new videos from reacting to video from subscribers so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys tomorrow actually for a new video so i want to thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys actually tomorrow okay so the first thing is that you don't want to do in your car playing around with your cell phone drop comments down below and i'll be more happy to make a video about it. my own clothing line through the description down below even if you're not a subscriber correctly and quickly twitter verification process you can find a link down below i'm done with this kind of shit opportunity is there as long as you guys keep watching my videos i will keep making them